15 games, Liverpool were leading the table, West Ham were 8th and Wolves were 11th, but there was only just a point between them. So one or two changes to the West Ham side, Brian, and a couple of notable omissions. Yes, uh, Billy Bonds is missing. Uh, he must have had some injuries. Unusual for him to miss too many games. Uh, Pat Holland come in. Uh, Kevin Locke come in. Uh, and Jeff Hurst back. not there. Jeff Hurst, I think Jeff had moved on to Stoke City by then. Pat and I Holland. think I probably would have gone up front and uh, with Clyde Best. Uh, Pat Holland was a bit of a flyer, wasn't he, right wing? He used to work really hard, he used to get good right foot, nice little runs down the right hand side, get a little cross in for you. Well Bobby, what about this Wolverhampton team? Plenty of skill there. Well that big lad there, Steve Kinden, who eventually, he played actually for Burnley and uh, before he went here to, to Wolves. A really tough, strong, strong running player, hard to dispossess. Uh, at the back, um, Bernard Shaw, right, right back, quite steady. Mike Bailey in midfield, Francis Monroe, central defender. Um, Jimmy McCallioga, a right-sided midfield player, good, good ball skills, also the chance of scoring good goals. And the main striker up front was John Richards. Right, well, describing the action at Upton Park, Brian Moore. So Wolves kick off in their famous old gold shirts, defending the goal to our left. They come here with only one away win this season, that was at Coventry. West Ham, meanwhile, unbeaten here at home. And it's Pat Holland for them now. To McDowell. Lampard. Holland. Moore. West Ham, of course, have uh, not such fond memories of Wolverhampton. They lost 3-0 up there in uh, August. Holland lifting it on, but quite comfortably there for Parks. Wagstaff, McCallion. And McDowell biting very hard and quickly there on that situation in the throw going to Wolverhampton Wanderers. John McCall. And McCall again turning it towards Kindon. But Kindon had strayed a yard or so offside. And West Ham get the free kick. Ferguson back in the side. And now Holland. Well there and it was as well that he did because Ken Hibbett was there waiting for the slip and it's Holland going on. Best if anything, a fraction slow to react there and Munro gets it back to Phil Parks. Munro, McCallion, Bailey. That part in sliding interceptions of his and it's Tyler best played too far for Robson and far too casually and McCallion but again to that one Robson good goal scoring record with 11 this season for West Ham Moore first time best that was better now for Brooking with a shot and Parks going down as Brooking has failed to get it properly a nice incisive West Ham move that cut right through the walls Robson and McDowell knocking each other off the ball and at times this afternoon that is symptomatic of a little bit of lack of understanding there's been about West Ham's play but here's Holland now to Best and now to Brooking and now McDowell right in there plenty of them up even Lampard coming in to join in the fun a good little cross there Holland oh and somehow Parks got there and denied Pat Holland what would have been his first goal of the season Brooking let it run, and Tyler was behind him. Played now once more for Holland. And crossing it this time. Robson is there, but so too is Jefferson. McDowell, letting one go! And a fine save again by Phil Parks from McDowell. Well, I must say, nearly all the half-time, but I mean, it, there were so many McDowell chances even there in that short space of uh, action that we saw. Yeah, there's Palace. still chances. Um, probably, I think Bobby Moore probably played just in front of the back four there. Uh, Patsy's gone wide left. And... Dudley Tyler's come in on the right-hand side, uh, who we signed from Hereford. But probably not flowing as, uh, as well as what we could. There's a lot of half chances at the moment, isn't there? Yeah, but, uh, but West Ham always seem to try to get wide. Yes. And they've got wide a few times, snowballs in, looking for Clyde Best. 
and funnily enough the best chance f fell to Pat Holland and he didn't take it but the, it looks as though something's going to happen soon there seems to be a lot of pressure on the Wolves defence now floating it in there once more and that time Park's gathering it comfortably Adal as West Ham continue to press forward Tyler Brooking still with Brooking Bailey right there with him but he crossed that well Best is back there Holland hoped to go in Moore and it bounced badly for Wolves and they were all over the place there Holland and the whistle had gone for a free kick there was construction there by a Wolves player Moore to Best and now to Brookie Robson hitting it on the turn, but straight into the arms of uh, Phil Parks. Oh, misunderstanding there, and hit it with a shot! Oh, and he hit the crossbar! And Kinden couldn't get the rebound, and Ferguson could. Tremendous shot there against that West Ham crossbar. Robson. Play on, says the referee. In fact, he changed his mind there, the referee. I had a quick look at him, and he had the... Uh, well, that's incredible because he had a whistle in his mouth and now he's giving a Shaw a lecture. If he's got to give him a lecture, that's got to be a free kick. Lampard turning it in. And now Robson turning it back and a goal! But there was a deflection, so Wolves had none of the luck there. And Robson puts West Half Ham chance, Bobby. The there he is. This, this is what he's good at. Little half chance. Doesn't think about it t twice, you know. I've got to take it to, on the turn, quick knock into the bottom corner. Tyler. Which is what this lad was really good at. And in fact, you were really good at it that season because you scored 28 goals that season, uh, Pop. Yeah, that was one of my best seasons and um, really yes. enjoyed it. Well, he kept it in, but, uh, as Bobby said, I think you've got to take it early if you can. And yeah. If you can get them on the volley, it catches people uh -huh. by surprise. It's yeah. But I mean, you were always looking for the opportunity to score, weren't you? Well, I was lucky. I was. I lived on the end of a terraced house and I had all the, 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 the gable wall to hit against with right foot and left foot. <laughs> well, there you are as you're watching it. You see that strong running of Steve Kindon, Bobby. Mm. Yeah, well, he, he's a really strong runner, Steve Kindon. I mean, the number of times that he used to brush off defenders. You see, they're trying to get into him, but he's so fast and powerful. And he gets on his right-hand side, they give him a, a look at the goals and he's going to finish it off. That what he was, re he was really good at, running from deep at you big powerful weighty player and he used to brush defenders off they were really frightened of him he was a dangerous player at that time i remember well but Both. you must yeah you must have been aware of that threat surely difficult to stop when they're running at that pace and that power and um you obviously had to try and get into him early but once he's built up that kind of speed difficult pass the game probably more no chance but tyler taking the rebound still with tyler played back there for brooking and Bailey bringing it again for Wolves. Hip it down and hurt. And away goes Richards now. Played there for Wagstaff, but he let one go onto that right foot. It had a chance there. Kinder, who's already scored one. And again! Yes, indeed. Referee was in a little bit of a doubt so, there, so, looked at the line. So quickly didn't realise it was in. Yeah. Yeah. He, he hit it so Wolves hard that the ref, I think most people didn't realise it had gone in, you know. Because it was from such a wide angle, but he hit it inside the far post. You watch everybody. And that puts Wolves 2-1 into the lead. Both of them now. Wow. Well, that that flew. Terrific That's powerful fine. shot. Yeah. Oh, he was strong, lad. It's with Ares. But he's crossing well. Holland was right there. Best two. And Holland! Well, the chance was there for Clyde Best, and fractionally it was there for Pat Holland as well. And with six minutes to go, when you're 2-1 down, it's the sort of chance that you badly make, want to make count. Tremendous burst of speed there by Steve Kindon, and it needed a brave piece of play by Ferguson as well. Richards knocking it back, Kindon! more than a foot wide for what would have been Steve Kindon's hat-trick. Wonderful acceleration there by Steve Kindon.
McDowell. Kaliog, Wolves now with a lot of players back. Determined now to preserve the 2-1 lead that they've fought for, having been a goal down. Wagstaff. McDowell. Holland. Best back for Lampard. A little over a minute to go now. Brooking. Played for Bobby Moore. Deep cross again there towards Holland. Turning it in there for Brooking. Great header by Trevor Brooking. Well, that was a great goal, Pop. Oh, it was an excellent uh, knockback back across the face of the goal and an excellent diving header from Trevor. I only remember him scoring another diving header and that was in the cup final against the Arsenal. But uh, is it quite best that puts it back? I tell you, what a time yeah. to score. About a minute from the end to an equaliser coming just I at the right time. I don't think we ever had control of the game. It was always end to end and we, there was a lot of positional changes and uh, we never had complete control of the game. And Obviously, it's a good time to score just a minute from the end. It was exciting though, wasn't it? Oh, very yeah. exciting. And when lots of oh, absolutely chances, yeah. wonderful to Great watch. Stuff. Great stuff. The pitch yeah. looks a bit better there as well, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was November, so it was a difficult time, and the, the full winter's force had not hit it by that time, I suppose. But, <laughs> but it was a problem, the West Ham pitch, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a little... Uh, near the, the stand side there was a little bit... Uh, it was always quite heavy. But uh, it's nice to see it in decent condition there. The yeah. Well, there we are, two all. And I suppose justice was done because uh, you, you hadn't played badly enough to lose 